Hi. I recently bought a couple of these aluminum bar clamps from Harbor Freight to round out my collection. I wanted to have six of these in total. These are the 48 inch long versions. You can see how easy these clamps twist under pressure. And this will happen when you're gluing up. And um, the energy that's going into twisting the clamps is energy that's not going into your, your glue up. I learned from Paul Sellers how to upgrade these cheap aluminum bar clamps so they don't flex. Uh, just Google his name and bar clamps and you'll easily find the article. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show my process for improving these clamps. The fix entails filling this channel with wood, and you can use any wood really, uh, the cheaper the better. So I'm just going to use this uh, cutoff from a 2x4. I have two clamps that I'm going to do this to, so I'm just going to cut this in half, shape it on the bandsaw, and plane it to thickness with the planer. The first thing to do is to remove the end cap so I can make an inside measurement. And um, in this case it's 11 sixteenths and it's wider on this end so I'm going to go with a smaller dimension. And the other measurement I want to take is I'm calling it the depth and I'm measuring about a 32nd of an inch over one inch. You don't want to make this wood insert too tight of a fit. You'll never get it in. Um, a little loose is better than too tight. Well, with the wood insert, this clamp is now much stiffer. It barely twists. And feel, it's about maybe twice as heavy as the clamp uh, without the wood insert. And it just actually feels like a much more robust clamp. The last thing to do is to add some pads to the clamp surfaces. Turns out that these pipe clamp pads from Pony fit the aluminum bar clamps perfectly. I bought these from Amazon for about six bucks. So it comes out to three bucks per clamp. Very economical. Uh, let me show you uh, how I attach them. Now right out of the box this pad fits fits too loose. So you need to add add a, a spacer and uh, it needs to be eighth inch thick. In this case I'm using a piece of uh, Baltic birch plywood. And you could attach it with some double sided tape uh, but I find that's really just not necessary. Just Place it as such, and then this paddle just slide on, and it's a real snug, it's a perfect fit, really. For the movable jaw, it doesn't fit quite as nicely because this is a bit longer. What you need to do is just cut out this corner, and I'll do that with an X Acto knife.
perfect fit. So with these two simple enhancements, you'll convert your inexpensive aluminum bar clamps into some um, pretty nice clamps. I, I really recommend these. Now I said these are Harbor Freight clamps, which they are, but I've seen the same clamps at Home Depot and at various other stores. Uh, they're obviously made at the same factory in China. They just changed the colors and some of the knob details. Uh, but I think you'll be hard pressed to find them any place cheaper than Harbor Freight. The 48 inch ones like these uh, cost me about 10 bucks with their weekly 20% off coupon. And sometimes I've seen them on sale too. I store mine on this wall rack that I made to hold six, which is all I intend on having. I finally bought my last two. Thanks for stopping by.